Okay. Resume destruction of 85 Corvette, heater core, uh, blower motor, you name it. So, if you want to get access to your washer fluid bottle, the blower motor, or anything else, there's like some temperature sensors and stuff in here, you are going to have to remove this part here, which is just a series of 10 millimeter bolts, no big deal. Um, you do have some Torx fasteners here. And then this is the real pain for me, this kind of side vent piece. There's a 10 millimeter bolt in here that you have to access from down um, under here. You'll see it. It's, it's just a tiny little sliver and uh, of an opening they give you to open up, uh, I mean to access that little 10 millimeter bolt. And then you can undo it from here. And on my car, both sides, it'll it'll kind of swing out of the way, but it doesn't want to come out. I don't know why. Anyway, but what you will notice on anything that's this old is every squirrel, every mouse, every critter, every leaf that can make its way in here will. So you're going to have a lot of stuff um, bound up in here. Now... If you're removing this stuff permanently, what I did was I would just kind of break it or cut it off into chunks and then pry it loose. And then um, this goes to your heater core here. And this is part of your air conditioner. I'm, this is coming out next. But on this car, since this is, you know, just going to be a, a, uh, a fun car, I'm not using this in the winter or anything. Um, this is going to open up a lot of room for you to work on other stuff. Um, I am going to remove this AC compressor as well. I'm going to get a bypass pulley for that. But uh, anyway, just a little information. You just got to get this out of the way, get this out of the way, and then you're going to have a whole bunch of small bolts um, holding these pieces together. So like your blower motor here, um, a bunch of little seven millimeter bolts. I tried to cut the washer fluid tank out. That didn't work. I had to get to the bolts. And then this is the, uh, this looked kind of like, like so. That was part of the housing for the blower motor. And then you want to cut all this garbage wiring out. You can see where I just kind of cut it up into chunks. This stuff is real brittle. So, uh. It shouldn't be too hard to remove if you're trying to get all this junk out of the way and declutter it. Um, I'm thinking of doing kind of a Mad Max style on this car. And what's nice about it is that once you remove this plastic here, you can actually fit a huge tire in here. So the front is not going to be an issue to get big, like, off-road tires on it. But the back part, I'm not so sure yet. Um... You can't really lift these cars. There's not really a way to do it. And I don't particularly want to cut into any of this stuff, but you never know. We'll see what uh, I decide. 